गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डी ए कन्वर्टर रिसेंटली इन प्रीवियसली टॉपिक वी स्टडीड अबाउट ए डी कन्वर्टर दैट इज एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग डी ए कन्वर्टर डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर इन दिस डिजिटल सिग्नल इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एनालॉग फॉर्म दीज आर द टॉपिक्स डी ए फंडामेंटल बेसिकली ट्रांसफर फंक्शन क्वान्टाइजेशन विच आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड द फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग डी ए कन्वर्टर परफॉर्मेंस डी ए थ्री आर्किटेक्चर एंड सो ऑन सो हेयर इज द बेसिक डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर सो इन दिस द सिग्नल इज कमिंग थ्रू द मल्टीप्लेक्सर मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज बेसिकली ए मल्टीपल इनपुट सिंगल आउटपुट सिस्टम हेयर वी गेट मल्टीपल इनपुट एंड ए सिंगल आउटपुट दिस आउटपुट इज गोज टू एन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर विच कुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर और इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर एंड देन दिस सिग्नल गोज टू एनालॉग सिग्नल प्रोसेसर दिस एनालॉग सिग्नल प्रोसेसर इज मे बी ए मल्टीप्लायर और ए divider or a log amplifier and then this signal goes to ad converter which we previously studied about ad converter here this analog signal is converted into digital signals and the n number of digital bits now then goes to microprocessor or dsp processor this microprocessor say generates the output signal and then this output digital signal goes to da converter where it converts digital signal into analog signal and then again it goes in analog signal processor and from this analog signal processor it goes through again operational amplifier and then it goes to mux here mux is using as d mux where the single input is applied and multiple input is received so after that uh, these are the real world sample data system consisting in dac or adc because both in both the same process is going on adc or dac this is the analog signal and this analog signal is then converted into digital value and for converting it into digital value it is quantizing and sampled so it is shows here that how this signal is sampled and then how it quantized and from that quantized signal we converted it again in analog signal so what is basically a digital to analog converter it produces a quantized analog output in response to binary digital input code that means to say we give input in digital form and we get output in analog form and digital inputs may be from ttl ecl cmos any of other device and a reference quantity here is accurately divided into binary and or linear systems here we can see the formula which are using in analog for analog output is equals to digital input divided by 2 raised to minus n minus 1 into reference input so the digital input derives switches that connects an appropriate number of segment to the output and finite number of discrete values such that 2 raised to n resulting in quantization uncertainty sampling and quantization impose fundamental yet predictable limitations so this is the sampling process sampling process basically representing a continuous time domain signal into a discrete or uniform time interval so we can see here the time interval is uniform and the analog signal is sampled here it determines maximum bandwidth of sampled adc or reconstructed dac signal which is following through the nyquist criteria nyquist criteria is f equals to 2n here f we can measure as signal frequency or we can say f is signal so it so the for sampling uh, discrete sampling it must be equals equals to to n or we can say twice of that sample frequency domain is arising for an adc and images for dac so now after sampling this is the quantization process we previously in analog to digital converter 
studied both these process because they are also the same process follows in quantization process representing an analog signal having infinite resolution with a digital world having finite resolution and an analog output which only exists in discrete levels determine maximum achievable dynamic range the meaning of here maximum achievable dynamic range is that for the maximum peak of that quantized signal analog output can produce and the results in quantization error due the noise so here is the conversion relationship for an ideal da converter that means to say when the signal digital signal firstly sampled and then quantized so the after quantization of digital signal this is the way how the signal is converted in analog signal thank you